Hello there. Today I have decided to try doing another big canvas. I don't know why big canvases scare me so much but they do and I've got a 20 inch by 24 inch to cover and paint. So I've decided to use up my leftovers. So and I've got a big jug here which I'm going to fill up and hope that it covers the canvas. So I'm going to fill up the jug with the, the bitsy colours I've got. There's so many of them it's going to look very very strange. The adding of these paints to the jug, I'll put that video clip at the end of this video. So <laughs> I had a senior moment and didn't turn my camera on and I poured my jug of paint that is what is left, which is rather pretty, I think, um, but didn't uh, film it, so I apologise for that. Um, but I will now be doing the tilting and seeing what I can get from just this first jug of paint. Oh my, I just love the patterns in this, the colours, almost like a geode style, as though someone's cut through the middle of a giant gemstone and got all the colours weaving through it. Nothing in the way of white or yellow or bright, all the muted beautiful colours. So I'm going to give it a torch now to bring out the bubbles. As far as I know, none of these colours had any silicon in them, but uh, the one or two might have slipped through. I, the reason I have such an issue with doing um, large canvases is the tilting, because I have such a limited workspace and I always manage to get paint everywhere. But this one tilted really, really well and the, um, the result I'm very, very happy with. I'm loving the greens, but I think this one might actually darken as it dries. 
and the purples. I'm going to put my gloves on now and bring it up a bit closer to the camera for you to have a look at. So this might not come out so good with me lifting this up to show you, but I like to bring these up to the light rather than bringing the camera down to them. So that one is the, for me, the top left hand corner and we will take it over slowly towards the right. This canvas is actually quite heavy. I don't want to get it back too close to my window so you might not actually get to see a very good view of the bottom but it is incredibly pretty with all those colours particularly the colour that's called Old Mauve from Montmartre which is the dark mulberry colour through here and down through here just gorgeous it's almost like someone's dark blood <laughs> drizzling through that's me and my weird uh yeah ideas <laughs> okay so that's it for me for this painting uh, i'm looking forward to seeing how it dries of course because often when i mix paint paints together like this i end up with a very dark painting and i'm really hoping that doesn't happen with this so that's it for me once again thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you next time.